So I've been going to the school for 13 years. Hey, you know, you've got to do something about this. And they're basically, when they leave school property, there's nothing I can do about it, you know? So finally, last week, a group of them are in here. And what happens is they'll come at 2, 3 o'clock, and then their parents will say, well, we get out of work at 5, 5.30. We'll just pick you up at the front of us. So they're here for hours. Get a slice of pizza, sitting here for hours. So last week, there was a group of them in here, and they were being so disrespectful to my servers. I mean, running them like crazy. Gave them a penny tip. Told them they should get a better job, things like that. Just like, they had the lady almost in tears. And I was like, that's it, enough's enough. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. So hopefully, we're going to go 18 and up. And we're, we've been transitioning away from pizzeria anyway. Okay. Into more of a higher end Italian restaurant. And um, hopefully, saying that you're 18 and up and they can't come in, that was a tour for me to come across the street because there's no reason for them to come over here. Yeah. And the bank and the dry cleaner and everybody, they can't do business because of this. Right. So they're all on board. Um, so tomorrow I hired security and put cones out and you're ready. We've done everything. We've hired cops to work the parking lots. We've been so nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So love to hear this. Ready? <laughs> yeah, she's the boss. <laughs> All, right. All right. What's your name and how do you spell it? Denny Tornator. Uh, T O R N A T O R E. My first name is Denny. D E N N Y. All right. And your title? Owner of Tornators. All right, so we've been hearing about it online. What's going to happen tomorrow? So tomorrow, sadly, I have to enforce an 18 and up uh, rule that we're putting into effect tomorrow. And um, there'll be no reason for Bishop Moore's parents to be picking up their kids here if their kids aren't allowed in here. All right, so what's the problem? You're across the street from Bishop Moore. Can you give us that story? So this has been a problem for way before I've been here. My restaurant's been here for 13 years. This has been a problem for decades, I've heard. Um, I've politely asked hundreds and hundreds of times <laughs> for the parents to pick their kids up across the street and like every other parent does, and that's not going to happen, it, and it's been 13 years of being, being abused and, and taken advantage of. Um, they used our restaurant as a daycare, basically, and they've disrespected my servers, most importantly, and I'm not going to stand for that. So we are going to go 18 and up and see what happens. And so you were saying that kids were hanging out in here, kind of what was that atmosphere? So what would happen is I, I let it slide for a long time because it's in between lunch and dinner and I don't mind, I want to be a friendly neighbor, but the parents would tell them, go to there after school, get one slice of pizza and then I'll get out of work at five, I'll pick you up at 5.30 or whatever. They basically were using us as their daycare, which in turn scared away customers that you know didn't want to be in a room full of kids. So recently, this year has been the worst. Um, they've been super disrespectful. I don't know if it's the times or what it is, but the kids have been super disrespectful this year, and we're not going to put up with it. They're not going to abuse my servers. What does Bishop Moore say? You say you've been asking them for years. Bishop Moore overall are very friendly neighbors, but at the end of the day, once they leave that parking lot, there's nothing they can do. So their whole thing is once they leave Bishop Moore, there's nothing we can do. So we've hired private cops. We've done all, everything you can imagine we've done. This is not like I'm just being crazy well, we've tried it all so now we're gonna try this and we're gonna really enforce it though okay and what do you have planned for tomorrow so tomorrow we're putting up cones we hired security guards and we're gonna work around this parking lot and enforce it and say if you, there's no reason for you to be here blocking up all these businesses and shutting us all down we're gonna hit the side streets too because you, residents can't even get in or out during these times there's literally a school across the street they can get in line and go pick their kid up like everybody else. So we're going to enforce it tomorrow. Uh, what's been the biggest challenge? We're like getting these parents to go along with it. The biggest challenge is the parents. They're rude. They're super entitled. And every this, the excuse is almost always the same. I'll politely like this go, could you please pick your child up across the street? You're really shutting down our businesses here. In that tone, with those words, and what I'll get back is, I pay so much money to that school for my child to go there. Well. I'm not the school, so please go pick your kid up at the school. And this has been year after year. I've tried everything, so. Probably not so much during the pandemic when they weren't in school. And that's Bishop Moore's excuse, and it does make sense. They said this year is the worst because of the pandemic. It's almost like we have two freshman classes now. The sophomores and the freshmen, they weren't here for their freshman year. So now it's like there's two whole classes of new kids here that we didn't get a in the beginning of the school year is always a nightmare here, like trying to enforce this. Mm -hmm. So they're saying it's because there's so many new kids, whatever the case may be, we're, they're not allowed here anymore. Right. So are you, are you expecting some backlash? I'm expecting some backlash. Starting tomorrow, she's the only kid in here, allowed in here that's not 18. Um, I'm expecting the parents to, I, I, I expect to get some backlash at first, 
followed by a lot of real foodies that love good food coming back and saying, wow, we, we stayed away because of these kids. Um, I mean, school year is almost over. <laughs> well, we're going to start this now, and I'll be right back at it when school starts again. Um, this is an issue that we dealt with. Usually the first two weeks of school, I hire private police officers to do this for me. And we'll be doing that again next year. We've got to put our foot down now because I'm not going to have my servers get abused by overprivileged kids. Um, can you kind of give us an idea of what this place is for people who don't know? Sure. We are a made-from-scratch Italian restaurant. We have an all-star staff here, one of the best chefs in Orlando, one of the best pastry chefs in Orlando. We literally make everything from scratch. Our homemade pasta is a star of the show. We sell our pasta to 30 other restaurants in town. Um, if you haven't been here, you should come check it out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're friends with the rest of the people that are in here. They all feel the same way. I'm like their hero right now because they they were literally shut down for you know we're all everyone in this plaza is a privately owned business that is a small business. And for hours every day during the week we can't do any business and we're losing money. So they they're very happy that I'm finally putting my foot down. Are you losing sleep over this? You feel bad? I feel great. I, I feel like they're finally getting the end to it, you know? I'm mm -hmm. I'm sleeping well. Worried that you're going to lose any money from these students? We're definitely going to take a little hit at first. We've sold hundreds of thousands of slices of pizza here. We're not even selling slices of pizza anymore starting tomorrow. So we're getting away from that pizzeria image. And in turn, with the food cost the way it is right now, it, it costs me more than I ever has. I have to match it with the ambience, and I can't have a bunch of kids in here being disrespectful. So it might at first hit me a little bit with the kids not being here. But I know that this community will rally behind us, and the foodies will come to town, and they'll come with their money, and they'll and they'll enjoy what we're doing. Great. You guys are awesome. Will you come, come back and eat. You gotta, get a shot of you and your daughter there. She yeah. is. So what school do you go to? I learned at Junior Academy. Nice. You like it? What grade are you in? First grade. First grade. My daughter's in kindergarten. Cool. I'm so nervous. Don't be, don't be. She came right out of her shell when she went to school. And now she's been in karate for what, four years now? Yeah. We're going to karate from this. Nice. And, uh, she's going to go kick some butt. And what? then uh, I'm back to school tomorrow and I'll be here. That's part of that group. And in 2015, I bought those guys out and we did um, the TV show Restaurant Possible, where they come and change your life in one day. And it literally did. It yeah. changed my life in one day. And uh, we've been on this ever since. Uh, we hired the uh, chef from the restaurant when they closed. So in turn, I can't have these kids over here hanging out with their parents. Do you have like any pictures or video? That we I really don't have any pull up besides Jake. This is like I can help you here. So he's calling the school tonight and whatever, and nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. You've, <laughs> done, you've done this a couple of times. So this is somebody posted this. It's like a class but part. Like this is just the side street over here. Like mm -hmm. they knock over the signs. These are all no parking signs, and this is just up and down each street. Oh man. But the worst part's gonna be here. Like if you were to come here, well tomorrow I'm shutting it down, but if you were to come here just earlier today, even when we were, when we were closed, I'm standing outside, I was talking to your guy on the phone about this, and I was like, man, if you could just see right now, there's 75 kids out here on the thing, and there's just a line of cars going through, picking them up, picking them up, it's just ridiculous. So hopefully this is it, hopefully this is like the end of an era. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah. Like, Yeah, we have um, Jason Wolf's our head chef. He's incredible. Like we're doing this uh, seven course and I'm a sommelier. Um, we um, this is seven course wine dinner, fried squash blossoms, we're pumping gnocchi, filet mignon. Like this is like nice dinners. And I can't have these kids. So we're going to put cones up, we're going to let the security guys do their thing. I'm going to go out like I always do and nicely ask, can you please go across the street? And hopefully that is it. And I know there's going to be some parents with problems. Yeah. I mean, you guys have the right. Right. I mean, we're not part of the school. Like, yeah. myself and none of these other businesses deserve to be shut down because these guys don't want to go wait in line. I mean, the car line goes, what, up and down? Edgewater, right? Yeah, they could just get in it and go pick up their kid like yeah. everybody else, but they're the most important people in the world because they paid all this money for their kids to go to school there, you know, so they're going to just park wherever they want. 
And, you know, and if I tow somebody, then I'm the real jerk, you know what I mean? Right. Like, sometimes it'll be Friday night, and I'm fully booked. Like, you can't get in without a reservation. And my customers won't have anywhere to park because there's a football game going on at Bishop Moore, and everybody decided to park in there and walk over there. So I usually, in that sense, I'll call there and say, hey, could you make an announcement? We're going to tow the cars. And they usually will make an announcement. We'll come get their cars, but I don't want to be right yeah. I've torn cars and stuff. Yeah. You seem, you seem tired. 13 years of it. Yeah. yeah. But I'm relieved because I know that this is the new. We got a new. We got a new menu coming out tomorrow. We got these new rules. We can just kind of go where we've been trying to go, and sadly, they, they were holding us back. Awesome. It's funny. The chef at K was when I came to uh, interview for this Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got an all, and um, our pastry chef Chris Aaron came from the Swan and Dolphin. We've got this great all-star team here. And you'll say, if you guys come in, you'll see what I mean. The food is incredible. Just just shoot a call and say you're coming and make a reservation, and we'll blow you away. It's really, really good. So we're getting ready to do a full remodel, get rid of the pizzeria. I'm, like, you know, we're transitioning. Awesome. Um, the pictures that he had was somebody else's Facebook. Oh, look at that. 